Hi friends, it's Sasha. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming something I've been wanting to film for two years. I mean, the video is going to be titled exactly what it is, but it's the record collection. I ended up getting a record player... Oh my gosh, was it... Tum was it summer 2017 or summer 2016? It honestly may have even been 2016, so possibly three years now. Um, half of my collection is a bunch of new stuff that I have either bought myself, been gifted by like you guys and friends, and then the other half is a bunch of my dad's records from the 70s and 80s, which I think is the coolest thing ever. There's probably going to be a little on-screen disclaimer at the beginning of this video, but I also just quickly want to say, since I've had a video deleted by YouTube already, that I am 27 years old, I am currently in Rhode Island, and I am a legal medical marijuana patient in Rhode Island, so I am smoking both responsibly and legally, and I am in no way promoting the sale of regulated goods. I am just simply sharing my record collection with my subscribers. So with that being said, I am going to load up some banana punch and get this video started. So today is actually the first day in quite a while that it's been, I want to say like under 85 in Rhode Island. We have had such a heat wave. It's been in the 90s most days in the past two weeks. And then today is kind of like gloomy and stormy. I want to say it's like 75 to 80 degrees, but it's 100% humidity, so it's just sticky outside. And then tomorrow and Saturday are going to be close to 100 degrees. And on the East Coast, I feel like that's such a big deal because you also have the high humidity percentage. So it's just, it's going to be a lot. I might go to the lake. Oh my gosh, Sunday too. So Saturday is going to be 98. Sunday is going to be 99. Tomorrow is going to be 91, which seems like nothing compared to those, but... It's seriously like 100 degrees here versus 100 degrees in the desert is such a difference. It's insane, but I'm excited. Luckily, I have air conditioner and I also have a lake that I can go up to if I choose to. But if I'm being honest, I'll probably just stay home in the AC and try to catch up on editing and filming and just life since I've been gone for so long. I've traveled so much this past month, these past two months, really. It's insane. Cheers. Okay, so I think to start, I'm just going to quickly show you guys my record player and the wall display, which has four of my current favorite albums. They don't change too much, but they do occasionally change. And I'll definitely, definitely have the record player and hopefully the speakers linked down below. The record player I got from Amazon and the speakers I got from Best Buy. I needed to get speakers with this record player. It doesn't play uh, the audio on its own. All right, so I have an Audio-Technica LP60. I'm pretty sure there's also like an LP120 and then probably a bunch of other models. I ended up going with the 60 and like I said, I've had it for two or three years and it's doing well. Oh, that's out of focus. So I also ended up getting just these bookshelf speakers for, I want to say exactly $100 from Best Buy. It's their Insignia brand, which is the in-house electronic brand for Best Buy. Um, and then I got these four little record wall mounts also from Amazon. I'll try to link those down below. The only thing is, see how it's kind of making them like squish a little bit and like almost buckle out. I don't know if that is going to be um, damaging over time. I feel like it very well could be, but as of right now, it seems to be okay. Maybe I just need to put like a paper clip right here to kind of keep that together. But my four records on the wall. Okay, so one of them was recently changed. The rest have been the same since I got it. So originally it was Alina Baraz, Urban Flora EP, and then Mumford and Sons made a parade and this Fleetwood Mac record, which my dad actually bought in the 70s, I want to say, when it came out. Uh, but I recently replaced Alina Baraz with Casey Musgraves because I've really been loving this album and just listening to it a lot. So I thought it would be great to have it on display. Um, also, I'm pretty pretty sure the wall mounts were like 35 or 40 dollars for a four pack and then the bookshelf was my nana's i have a bunch of bags and blankets over here uh yeah when my nana passed away i inherited this bookshelf on the top shelf here we have a bunch of photo albums this chunk right here is actually also inherited from my nana it has a lot of my uh 
just like extended families photos from over the years. And then I feel like because of my Nana, I have a bunch of photo albums. These ones are from like 10, 15 years ago, maybe even longer. And then I have some more recent ones with some Polaroids, crystals, little pop vinyls, a bunch of fun stuff. Uh, we've got some Game of Thrones stuff over there, Sansa Stark. And then on the bottom, this stuff isn't normally here. This is just here because I'm recording and want to smoke. I have a bunch of change that I need to put into rolls. I have some old magazines, incense, some books that I've either been gifted or bought myself, and then all of the records. Okay, so I feel like that gives you like the general idea of this little area. Uh, this is just a place for knickknacks, things that I've been gifted, just little things that I've had over the years. And then, yeah, just books and records. So let's take another hit and we'll just start going through these one by one. Unfortunately, due to copyright issues, I'm not going to be able to play you guys any music. And I'm so, so sorry. But I think what I would love to do... <gasps> Ooh, okay, wait, I just had a really good idea. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a Spotify playlist and I'm going to pick my top like one to three songs from each album at least i'm gonna be honest a lot of my dad's older albums there's some of the music that like i don't really know a lot of it i do know or have at least heard of it but there is a good amount that i don't really know that well but um especially for my current albums i'm definitely definitely gonna have to make a playlist and just put a couple songs from each one that way i can link that down below you guys can check it out and yeah we can bond over music Okay, let's take a hit and then we'll start looking at them. I have them in no particular order. I feel like I probably should alphabetize them or something like that, but I haven't. All right, so first things first. Oh, I feel like I should mention, I've kept like uh, the plastic, the cheap plastic kind of uh, wrap over them just to try and protect the actual sleeve eventually i do want to get like just better quality little plastic sleeves that i can put the entire record into all right so the first one is daniel caesar now that i'm thinking about this i feel like i've never actually pronounced the album title aloud is it like fruitian um favorite songs on this album definitely blessed um best part featuring her that was like oh my god my song of the summer last year i loved that song but this is a really cool album i love when albums aren't just the standard black color this one's like a blue which is really cool oh my god i'm taking way too long this video is going to be like two hours long if i spend this long on each album um but yay daniel caesar scissors control album this was like i feel like this and hers self-title album uh, were my the soundtracks of my summer last year. I was really getting into my record player again. I had just set it up in my new apartment and I ended up getting these albums and listening to them a lot. Favorite song on this one? Ooh. Oh, that's tough. I mean, I love Supermodel, Love Gogina, Normal Girl, The Weeknd, Prom. Prom's a good one. This whole album's great. Uh, next is Ariana Grande's Thank You Next. I ended up pre-ordering this one because I didn't, like, I've always enjoyed Ariana's music. Like, you know, the hits, they get overplayed, but it's whatever. But it wasn't until this newest album that I really, I don't know, I genuinely enjoyed all of the music and I listened to it a lot. I feel like it was very, like, upbeat music. Um, that helped me a lot if I was, like, feeling anxious or anything like that. I would always put on NASA, and it just, like, has a bounce to it, and it just, I don't know, it immediately lifts my spirits. Um, definitely NASA is one of my favorites. This whole freaking album is so good. I, I can't even, I don't know. Look at the playlist to see the other ones that I like. This is one of my favorite albums, Come Around Sundown by Kings of Leon. Oh my gosh, just such a great summer album to listen to. I've been listening to quite a few songs from this. My birthday was actually yesterday, so I put their song, which is called Birthday, in the background of one of my stories because I'm corny as fuck. I wonder if I did some. But yeah, I love the song Birthday, love the song The End. Um, Back Down South, all good ones, really. Oh, this next one was a Christmas present, Guardians of the Galaxy album, and I'm pretty sure it's the first movie, not the second. So this one has, yeah, like Hooked on a Feeling, um, Come and Get Your Love, Cherry Bomb, Ain't a Mountain High Enough, yeah, this one has some really cool stuff. And then it also has, like, 
some almost like orchestra music, I believe. Um, the final battle begins. The Ballad of the Nova Corps. Just like Groot Spores, Guardians United, stuff like that. So, I don't think I've actually ever listened to the second disc that has that stuff, but interesting. Ooh, this next one is Alabama Shakes. Uh, this plastic thing is, like, all messed up. But this was actually one of my first albums that I got. I'm pretty sure one of you guys sent this to me. But Alabama Shakes, Sounds in Color. Sounds in Color itself is a great song. My favorite song from this is probably Don't Wanna Fight from this album. Yeah, that's a good one. Ooh, this tastes so good. Cage, the elephant, melophobia. This is a good one. Um, spider heads, a great telescope is one of my favorite songs. I must say, track number three on here, telescope. I don't know what it is about that song, but I just absolutely love it. Great, great song. So I feel like I'm someone that's just very attached to music. I associate certain songs or albums with certain periods of my life. Uh, just depending on what I was listening to at that time and I specifically remember having this album in my car and I listened to it a lot when I would be like driving home from school at night uh, because I took a few night classes throughout college. I just remember it being like cold winter, kind of near Christmas time and just listening to this album while I was a full-time student and bartending and I probably had my YouTube channel at the time or had just been starting it. This is just a great Great album. It has uh, Yellow on it, which is a classic song. Um, I really like the songs Sparks. That's a good one. We Never Change. Everything's Not Lost. Oh, this is an album that was sent to me by a follower. Um, it's by a record label that I definitely recognize, but I didn't actually know the band. It's called With Confidence. Um, I'll have to pick a song that I like from this one. This next one is Continuum by John Mayer. This song reminds me of 2010, I want to say, right around when I started dating my boyfriends. Um, Stop This Train reminds me of driving two hours out to Amherst, Massachusetts to visit him because he moved away like an, a month after we started dating and I would always just like sneak off and drive two hours just to spend the night up there because I was a crazy 18 year old. <laughs> Also, let me know if you guys are enjoying this video and just the style of it. Um, I know it's probably more enjoyable for people that share the same music taste as me, but uh, if some people are liking this video, I think it would be cool if I went through my old high school band tees and kind of talked about that and those just concerts and memories and songs and stuff like that. So let me know if you'd be interested in that. Also, I'm going to have my Spotify links below, and I definitely have a high school memories playlist, so listen to that and see if we would have been friends in high school. Uh, speaking of high school music, Power More, I really liked them a lot. This, uh, is this album called Brick by Boring Brick, or is it just, what is this album called? I forget what this album is called, exactly. But it's Power More's album, and it's the one that has, like, the only exception on it. Um, what's my favorite song on this one? Ooh, Misguided Ghosts is a really good one. Okay, next, oh, Alina Baraz. Alina Baraz I absolutely love. Um, first song I ever found by her was Fantasy, which is on this album. This whole little EP, it's got eight songs, is just a vibe. If you've never listened to it, please do. It's one of my all-time favorites. It was very hard to take it down from that wall. Very, very difficult. But the Casey Musgraves album also has the aesthetics, so I think that's what kind of helps it take over. Uh, oh, this next one is another Alina Baraz. This one is actually a light pink vinyl, which I think is really cool. Uh, this album has like one or two songs that feature Khalid. She has a song called Electric with him, which is a really, really good song. I love listening to that kind of music when I'm stoned. Just lots of bass and good vibes and like, I don't even know, chill wave almost. Um, next is the Paramore self-titled album. This one, I love the song, where is it, where is it? Last Hope. 
Last Hope is like, that was my favorite song for a very long time. And then I also really love the song Part 2 on here because it's a part two to a song that was on either their first or second album that I really like. Good album. All right, let's take another hit. I feel like we should take a dab soon. I feel like once I transition over to the older albums, then it will be time for a dab. Uh, the next was a fun little album that was gifted to me by my friend Marissa. It just has, I believe, some live tracks on it. I've listened to it a couple of times, but it has all of their hits pretty much. Uh, it's Cage the Elephant Unpeeled. Ooh, the next one is another High School Memories album. This one reminds me of my senior year of high school for sure. A Day to Remember Homesick. I definitely don't listen to a lot of the uh, like hard rock, screamo kind of music. This was probably one of their more mellow albums, I would say. I don't know. Anyone that listens to them, let me know if you agree or disagree. I don't know any of their new stuff, though, so how much does my opinion matter? But uh, Have Faith in Me is definitely my favorite, and then If It Means a Lot to You is a classic. Oh my god, this video is going to be so long! This video is going to be so long! Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Okay, let's bounce through a lot of these. Milky Chance, Down by the River, Stolen Dance, that rhymed. <laughs> great, just overall great, great album. Um, Brendan bought this album because we really liked this movie a lot. It was super, super cute. It had, oh my God, why can't I think of his fucking name? Ron Swanson, Nick Offerman was in it. Um, and the music we just liked a lot, so we bought it. It has like four songs on it. Ooh, this was one of my soundtracks of the summer last year. Hers self-titled album. This has a lot of songs on it. Love the song Jungle. Found out it's actually a Drake cover. Didn't know that. Changes. Just great. I know I'm saying that about all of these. And I mean, makes sense since I own them. But they're all great albums. Oh, this was a Christmas present this year. Greatest Hits of Bob Marley. I think this is a gold vinyl. If you can kind of see that. Yeah, definitely all the greatest hits. Is This Love, No Woman, No Cry, Could You Be Loved. Just redemption song. All of it. I think this was a thrift store find. Oh, my mom found this at a thrift store. Actually, I think my dad found it at a thrift store and got it for me. It's the Honey Drippers, and they got it for me because Sea of Love is on it. And one time I randomly posted a little clip of me singing that song to, I think, my Sasha Hippie Instagram page. And my mom has just been, like, obsessed with reminding me about that clip ever since. So they got that for me. It's really cute. It's sweet. Um, John Mayer's first album, look at what an adorable dork he looks like in that picture. And that's coming from a dork. Like, ugh, the baby face. My goodness, adorable. Room for Squares, a classic. Why Georgia? Your Body is a Wonderland. Next, Mumford & Sons, this album definitely gives me the feels. Great one. Little Lion Man, White Blank Page. Thistle and Weeds, ooh. Uh, this one was sent to me by someone, it's MF Doom. I will be honest, I didn't really know who that was before they sent it to me, but a lot of people were really impressed that I had this album. <laughs> All right, is there even anything else in this bowl? I feel like there isn't. Booty hit. My followers taught me the term booty hit, and I love it. <laughs> it's the last hit of the bowl where it just tastes awful. Sam Smith, this was a gift from one of you guys in The Lonely Hour. This, I know like every single song on this album. I liked Sam Smith a lot when this album came out. What even was this, like 2014 or something? Yeah, 2014. Stay With Me was what made him blow up. Oh, here's the other Wilder Mine by Mumford & Sons. I have their first three albums, I believe. I showed you the first, the second's on the wall, and then this is the third. This uh, this album, I can't really listen to that much, if I'm being honest. It really just reminds me of a like sad time, if I'm being honest. So that album, we don't listen to that much. Um, Snake Eyes was a great song. The song Snake Eyes is always very nostalgic for me because when I saw them in concert, that's what they opened with. Um, but again, lots of feels with that album. Cage the Elephant, Tell Me I'm Pretty. Um, this has Trouble on it, uh, Cry Baby, Mess Around, Too Late to Say Goodbye. Hound Mouth, I love, this was one of my first albums that I got. I'm pretty sure Kings of Leon and this one were like the first albums that I got. Love the song Sedona, um, and then Say It, 
Darlin. Okay, and now those are all of the newer albums. These three, I think, are gonna be thrifted. No, there's probably more thrifted ones in here, but then a lot of my dad's old ones. So let's take that dab, I guess. I have this cool little temp gun reader here. That way I can make sure my dabs are at a great temperature. Uh, it doesn't heat it up. You still have to heat it up yourself, but if you place it over this little thing, like right now it's at 622. I'm gonna take it around 600, so we're almost there. Dope. Cheers. a nice dab <clears throat> shall we continue so these thrifted ones this was like a Beatles cover band that was like 99 cents so I bought it um, I feel like this is backwards it is um, Janis Joplin's greatest hits uh, I believe these were like half off or something so this one was five maybe even more than that uh, Bruce Springsteen born in the USA that was like seven dollars Oh, okay, so this one must have been like three fifty, but pretty cool. They were all see these are what I want to get these little sleeves. That's what I need for all of mine. All right, this one is probably one of like my most prized possessions. This was my dad's back in the seventies. Okay, I had to pause there for a second, and now I feel substantially more high. So a refresher is necessary. I think my plan since this video is already so long is to after this album, which I feel like I have a personal attachment to, I'm just gonna kind of quickly go through and show you these albums since I don't really know too, too much about many of the bands. I mean, obviously, like, I've heard of the songs, I enjoy them and like them, but there's a lot of songs that I don't know, you know? But this one was my dad's album back in the 70s, and it is Cheech and Chong, Los Cochinos, and... Yeah, just really, really cool when you open it up. There's like weed hiding in the door handle. It's just a comedy track. The cover of it has definitely seen some days, some better days, but uh, I don't know. I just think this is so cool that this was my dad's and it's very much weed themed. And now I work in the weed industry and it's so cool that I was able to kind of inherit this. Sergeant Stadenko. <laughs> I've definitely listened to that one before, but yeah, I don't know. This album is really special to me. It's really cool that I have a big piece of my dad's collection in here. But let me see if I can set up the camera better, and then I'm just going to kind of quickly go through these. Oh, but first let me take a hit. Okay. Elton John. Carpenters, Wild Cherry, I like this album title, or cover, Candy Rock, this one was definitely thrifted though, and I think the Wild Cherry one was too, Kiss, Love Gun, Queen, More Kiss, ZZ Top, um, Billy Joel, Greatest Hits, both volumes one and two, very important there. Elton John, Madman Across the Water, more Elton John, look at those glasses, I would wear those. More Elton John, more Elton, oh my god. Um, this one was definitely chewed up by mice, but yet another, Elton John. Boston, cream, cool album art, <clears throat> The Eagles Live. I think this record itself is a little damaged though, I don't know how well it plays. Def Leppard, I think this one was my mom's. Led Zeppelin, The Kinks, I think this might have been a thrift find. This one was definitely my mom's, Grease. Cat Stevens, Greatest Hits, the Steve Miller Bands, and then these ones are Brendan's, they're Dave Matthews Band, a couple
couple of those. Away from the world, come tomorrow, and Big Whiskey. And then I think the rest are all Christmas albums. I kind of separated these ones. A few are thrifted, a, three, a few are new. Like, I love Kelly Clarkson's album. I got, <laughs> I got the Charlie Brown, uh, like Vince something trio, Vince Giraldi, Giraldi. And then these ones are all thrifted. So this one just has some random hits. This is a Disney one that's actually pretty cool. And I think I got that for 99 cents. Rudolph Red Nose Reindeer. And then another little mix of different hits. Okay, well this video ended up being much longer than I anticipated. I'm going to take one more bowl hit and then a dab. And then I'm going to end it off. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And check out all my socials down below because... Who knows how long my YouTube channel could be around for. Cheers. Ooh, why did I almost do the bubble cap first? I am going to end this video off here. Definitely leave any video suggestions that you have down below, both for YouTube and the WeedTube, even like random suggestions for Instagram. I occasionally make videos on there. And yeah, I'll be back soon. Stay high. Bye.